What's up everyone, welcome to another camera comparison video and depending on your location and religion, salam, namaste and hello. Okay, today I have this uh, Xiaomi Mi 11 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro. I had to take all the pictures twice cause I was actually uploading this video last weekend, I guess it was 18th April, then Xiaomi pushed a new update on Xiaomi Mi 11 Pro. So I had to take the pictures again, I had to record the clips again. So I wish that you will like this updated true content and if you really end up liking this video then please don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to this channel. But before we start our camera comparison video, a few moments for the sponsor of this video. Yeah, this video is brought to you by Pitaka. I actually always use Pitaka protective case on all of my smartphones. I mean like all the Samsung smartphones, iPhones and OnePlus 8 Pro, OnePlus 9 Pro. I believe that Pitaka offers the best quality with awesome customer support. Well, it's time to start our camera comparison video. What's up everyone, welcome to another camera comparison video. Today I have this iPhone 12 Pro and a Xiaomi Mi 11 Pro. Yeah, a lot of people requested for this video, so it's here. Yeah, today I have Amanda with me. <laughs> Hi guys, <laughs> subscribe to our channel. Yeah, please subscribe this channel and if you find this video helpful, please. Click on the like button and share this video. If you also have any other video request like camera comparison video request, make a comment and let me know. Well, it's time to flip to rear cameras. It's time to start our camera comparison. Amanda. Hi. Hi guys, we do a lot of work for this video. So if you find this video useful, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Memories fade away with with yeah, let's start with zoom photos and there should be a difference as iPhone 12 Pro comes with a 12 megapixel sensor tagged with a 2x telephoto lens and Xiaomi Mi 11 Pro comes with a 8 megapixel sensor underneath a periscope lens which offers 5x optical zoom and goes all the way up to 50x. No, that 50x really isn't something that you can regularly use but that 5x zoom is freaking awesome beside a 2x zoom photo. Yeah, 5x zoom photos are actually sharp. It grabs enough details and gives you that extra zoom. It's not like a must have, but depending on what type of photos you shoot, it may create a drastic difference. Yes, of course, it has more details, better texture processing, and who doesn't like a sharper image with color rendition that is true to life. One thing I must acknowledge, if it was a 3x zoom rather than 5x zoom, then at least we would get better portrait shots from Mi 11 Pro. And as it is a 5x zoom, Xiaomi should have implemented a better sensor. I mean something better than this 8 megapixel sensor. But you can see here, iPhone 12 Pro actually cannot compete with this Mi 11 Pro at 5x or beyond 5x. And at 2x zoom, both performs similarly. Surprisingly, Mi 11 Pro gets that warm tone and yes, in terms of details and textures, iPhone 12 Pro is a bit ahead cause Mi 11 Pro has to depend on its main sensor and it applies a digital crop in to get that 2x zoom photos. I totally respect your choice. But it hurts to see when viewers make comments that's influenced by some biased reviews. Let's check some ultra wide shots. And before we do any judgment, iPhone 12 series smartphones all have this trend beautify the sky, artificially process images with lucrative color tone, that blue sky on iPhone 12 Pro photos are totally fake. Not only the sky, watercolor in the lake is also artificially processed by iPhone 12 Pro. Xiaomi Mi 11 Pro not only rendered sky and watercolor correctly, it also portrays reality. Check the trees in front of that building. Come on, it's spring here. There aren't that many green leaves on those trees as it shows on iPhone 12 Pro picture. I cannot disagree that exposure and shadows are a bit better on iPhone 12 Pro, but at the same time, Mi 11 Pro has higher dynamic range and details. Texture processing actually kept flipping around, like sometimes iPhone 12 Pro and sometimes Mi 11 Pro did better iPhone 12 Pro obviously has wider FOV and, as always, produced photos with warm color temperature. But once we try to take ultra wide shots with human subject, it's magic. Mi 11 Pro start to increase saturation, drops contrast and white balance follows iPhone 12 Pro. 
Definitely iPhone 12 Pro color rendition is better and the whole image is sharper. But as always, a lot depends on personal preference. I would love to know, which one would you prefer for ultra wide shots? Okay, these video clips are recorded at 4K 30 frames per second. I have recorded several video clips at 4K 30 frames per second and I'm not gonna describe the differences between these clips. Actually, there is an international smartphone giveaway going on for my subscribers. So if you're subscribed to this channel, please make a valid comment describing the differences of these clips. If you're not subscribed yet, if you feel my camera comparison videos are better, it is helpful for you, then please subscribe and you may join the giveaway with a sensible and valid comment. Regular photography is the most important thing for almost all the average users. People open smartphone camera application and start taking photos. I have taken all these images in auto mode with auto HDR and scene detection was enabled on Mi 11 Pro. The same trend continued on iPhone 12 Pro, I mean a bit over processing, a bit saturation, artificially optimized color grading and of course warm color temperature. Yeah. That's iPhone 12 Pro. Mi 11 Pro also did some artificial optimization through processing. However, that's nothing close to what iPhone 12 Pro did. Both offers very good quality, sharp and crisp images. Plenty of details and shadows are neither crushed nor soft. It is truly down to personal preference when we are doing landscape photography with Mi 11 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro. However, once we start taking photos of human subject, surprisingly, there is a drastic difference in performance. I mean, both start to deliver something different. For starter, Mi 11 Pro increases midtones and highlights, tries to process textures with smoothness. Colors are more vibrant than usual and skin tone, oh yes, that's gonna be a bit brighter and bit fair than what it is in real life. I am not saying these are bad, rather, this may look very good cause the whole image is way more lucrative. On the other hand, iPhone 12 Pro lost a bit of shadows, exposure is not that correct, skin tone is darker than reality, and textures are way sharper than necessary. The problem is, none of this portrays or shows the real scene, cause sometimes iPhone 12 Pro got correct skin tone and sometimes Mi 11 Pro got correct color tone of the clothing and surroundings. Yeah, it truly depends on what you prefer. This is one of those very difficult camera comparison videos that I have done. Cause most of the time it depends on personal preferences. A lot of people would like the pictures on the left and then again a lot of people would like the pictures on the right. Yes, iPhone 12 Pro uses its 2x telephoto lens to shoot portrait photos. Mi 11 Pro uses its main sensor and applies a digital zoom to make it more lucrative. But this is where I start feeling. Xiaomi Mi 11 Pro should have retained that 2x telephoto lens of Mi 10 Pro. When I check portrait photos, I check four things very carefully. Bokeh effect, edge detection, separation line blend and details. Both performed similarly. Both had times when failed to perfectly detect edges, but iPhone 12 Pro surprised me with better focus metering. Mi 11 Pro has better separation line blend but failed to detect surroundings when the distance of surroundings with the lens is similar to the subject. Also, Mi 11 Pro surprised me with more details and natural skin tone. iPhone 12 Pro in portrait mode decreased mid-tones, white balance is much warmer and yes, there are plenty details on the subject. Mi 11 Pro increased mid-tones, kept cool temperature and produced much sharper image with better textures. This is how it looks if you try to take portrait photos with those flashlights on. I would never recommend to take portraits with flashlight, but what do you think? Which one is better? 
These are low light portraits. The first thing I have noticed is color rendition and skin tone. Mi 11 Pro gone wild with imagination. That blue color on Amanda's cloth is unreal. iPhone 12 Pro managed to reproduce almost correct colors. It's close to reality but that awful white balance ruined skin tone. Mi 11 Pro once again surprised me. Yes, it tried to beautify with slight fairness and brightness, but skin tone is really much better on Mi 11 Pro. Portrait to low light photos. No, these photos were not taken in a total dark environment and I did not use night mode on Mi 11 Pro. iPhone 12 Pro automatically increased exposure time to 2 seconds and Mi 11 Pro did the same. Both processed enough textures, both have enough details in the shadows, but iPhone 12 Pro photos in low light definitely looks artificial. Warm tone, less saturated and slightly exposed. Yes, some people may like this, but I think Mi 11 Pro did better to preserve the moment. Only if Mi 11 Pro did not beautify the face and did not try to change skin tone, it would have been great. All the Xiaomi smartphones other than Mi 11 Ultra have got the same issue. A bit too much beautification by default, artificial skin fairness, low dynamic range and high ambience. Side by side with other smartphones, you may not see a big difference cause Oppo, Vivo, OnePlus, Redmi, Realme more or less all have this same issue. On the other hand, Apple really did something better. More details, true to life skin tone, higher dynamic range and better texture processing iPhone 12 Pro wins this selfie battle by a mile. But wait, it's really a bit frustrating when we move to selfie portraits. iPhone 12 Pro totally failed to identify Amanda as a subject. Come on Apple, people often take selfie portraits with friends and family. I have tried to manually select the focus and yes, I have failed to fix this. Other than that, all the trends are same as selfie photos. As these are portraits, Edge detection, separation line blend and bokeh effect is important and surprisingly both did equally well. But I have noticed sharp cutouts around the edges on iPhone 12 Pro and hair strains or something like that are better detected on Xiaomi Mi 11 Pro. Finally, I know you have been waiting for this night mood performance of two monsters. Before I say another word, I will let you enjoy a few photos. Okay, iPhones are always known for better night mood performance, at least on paper and on some YouTube reviews. And I cannot disagree that new iPhones these days provides better night mode performance than its predecessors. But besides Xiaomi Mi 11 Pro, iPhone 12 Pro night mode photos looks a bit ordinary. Yes, a lot depends on how you like your photos. But I think there are four factors that defines a good night mode photo. I call it DENS. Details, exposure, noise and shadows. If any smartphone can get these four correct in night mode photos, then I will surely go with that. I know some big YouTubers are praising iPhone 12 Pro, iPhone 12 Pro Max, but here Mi 11 Pro got more details, balanced exposure, low noise and shadows are far better. What do you think? Which one is better? Other than a fanboy, everybody have to accept that Xiaomi Mi 11 Pro has done better. I love these awesome flares and exposure management, but at the same time, I need to mention, iPhone 12 Pro sometimes have more details and textures are a bit better processed. Well, it's time to wrap up, but before that, yeah, these video clips were recorded at 1080p 30 frames per second. And I think most of the people would say that iPhone 12 Pro did better, but actually I would prefer the video clip that was recorded with Xiaomi Mi 11 Pro, cause that one has better shadows, more details and I feel that's actually portrays the reality. Yes, iPhone 12 Pro video clip is more contrasty and it has more vibrance but truly this whole comparison is down to personal preference. Like what you prefer, what you like. To me, for sure Xiaomi Mi 11 Pro is the winner. Considering the price, Xiaomi Mi 11 Pro won by a mile. 
but iPhone 12 Pro, that's not a bad choice. iPhone 12 Pro has its own strengths and has points where iPhone 12 Pro is far better than Xiaomi Mi 11 Pro. So I would like to know which one do you prefer, which one do you think is the real winner. I will wait for your comments and if you feel this video was helpful then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel.